Hi, John here. Um, Wednesday today, the 6th of July 2016. I uh, am going to call my barrister. I want to see what's going on with Cook Street. Uh, it's been some while now that I've spoken to him. So, here we go. We'll just uh, have a look. His number. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, lost it. Right, here we go. I don't think they're open yet. So we'll leave that for now. Um, I'll just talk <coughs> for the moment. Uh, I'll, I'll call them again after. Um, I'll just um, on where we are going with our projects, with um, the tidal energies. I spoke to my friend Kevin Rice yesterday. He's down in Taranga, and uh, just wanted to uh, get in with him with the hydrogen and the other land projects. I wanted to go into uh, uh, the engineering side of the farm that we're on. It's heading a A12. This block at Rotori East on the coast there. There's <coughs> a lot of planning to do for our first move into um, marine in the sea, if you can see the block here uh, of land. So we're going to set a base between there and Coromandel uh, over the coastline. Um, so we've been at this for a long time now and he's um, passionate about building big boats. He's built a nice boat the last time and so we'll be back into that again for the land filling bank um, project the tur turbines and also the deep sea fishing and we'll be based at um, this hitting a A12 block and set up our workshops there in that area of Port Awanui in east of 13 kilometres, about 13 kilometres east of Ruatoria. Uh, so that's where we're at with that. And some building material. You can see on Facebook that I'm putting a few um, portable buildings to go on site um, in the meantime so we can have somewhere to operate <coughs> uh, to start off with until we get our funding sorted. I want to get Cook Street in Auckland sorted out. That's been a long-term project right back to 2008. That's when the fraud started off in that land block. It still went right through till now. And no one's going to get away with any fraud or corruption in this country since we're with the British still. Um, UK, um, government, parliament, and England and Wales left over from what Scotland has done with Nicola Sturgeon pulled out of UK. I think it's not a very good move for Scotland to go, but however their voting uh, says they are uh, left the UK and gone into the EU Parliament and government and uh, running remote. The same with Ireland. And there, I've just been reading that Ireland wants to pull out before long, but it's not our business now because they're already out of the UK. Our business is King William, the fourth monarch sovereign that we're keeping intact. We are keeping that contract going uh, with our chiefs here and uh, our 
our native people uh, still stand by this flag as being Britain's responsibility to us as our trading partner in bank commercial contract, private contracts, still there with this flag of jurisdiction of admiralty court martial law. That's what I'm using on these land blocks at the present time. I just want to make John Key well aware of our intentions to offset you and your TPPA and your draconian approach to your selling off this country when you haven't got a clear title. We have the clear title on these lands, every piece of land in this country, under the monarch of King William IV. Your Queen has left the UK and gone into the EU Parliament with you, John Key, and you're making new agreements with Britain and forgetting that we have a contract ahead of you with Britain. We are Britain, UK. You should be talking to us, the Chiefs, instead of trying to worm your way through David Cameron, a failure. He's a failure. You're a failure, John Key, with your flag trying to go over the top of this flag. You're a threat to our nation here and the people in the common law. You're a threat to TPPA not talking to the chiefs, not being open and transparent and disclosure. You have not disclosed your intentions of what you want to do to sell this country off with America. America is the queen. The king is King George the third, the father of King George, King William the third, uh, King William the fourth. Right? You get that right. You have survived your <coughs> government on the backs of the native hapu and King William the fourth admiralty in Waitangi Marae. Now, King Itaurua, the chief, is well aware of the military implications of Britain still with us. He has the right to exercise this flag from his Marae land. It is not anyone else's land but his own hapu there. So if anybody's got an argument with that, you'll have to go to court the same way as I'm going to court to take John Key and those landowners and the police for stopping me and our jurisdiction I'm exercising is of right to this country, ahead of anyone else who does not have a title or memorials to say what they're saying against what I say. So if anybody's got any better titles than what I have, you better put them in front of my barrister, Shannon Withers, because I'm just about to give him a call. I'll try again and see if we can get him. I need to find out what he is doing since it's been a few weeks. We'll try and see if we can get through. Hope so. show up on his phone, he's not answering, so it's after 9 o'clock, <clears throat> I'll just give it another couple of minutes while I'm talking with you, uh, is that we um, um, have been um, ignored by John Key's government here, and the politicians, they know they're liable now that the Pope is bringing in his new world order on the 16th of this month and I'm offsetting it with making statements on this video to the Pope, Pope Francis, I'm accusing you of being a criminal, fraudster, operating inside a church. You have used this flag of King William IV for your money-making ventures all these years and with Queen Elizabeth, both of you in the churches 
joined together at the hips of corruption and fraud. I'm accusing you of going now to ISIS and to Islam and to throwing away the Bible and Jesus in favour of something else that your new world order is going to pull the wool over people's eyes once more again after you have used the king's authority to get where you've gone. We're going after you to recover everything you used with this flag while we're in Britain. I'm operating and talking for King William IV here in Britain as the other country, the third country with England and Wales. So we still have the Commonwealth countries under Britain and Westminster with this flag. You see the red cross? That's what it means, the same red cross on the British flag. <coughs> it's my intention to raise this flag on the ship of Admiralty next to Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court House, with King Itauru and the Ngāpui Chiefs. It's on Ngāpui land, and that's all there was at that time. They made that agreement with the British government, nobody else, with the British government. Okay, that's where they got this flag from, and it's nobody's business because it's a private contract between us and the British government. So now that we're getting a new Prime Minister there, our land laws of Moai, King William Trust, comes under the land laws of England, straight back to 1830 to 1837, modified to 2016, through the new government of Westminster. So I'm just making this statement while I ring back again to Shannon Withers, my barrister, to try and get a conversation going with him. See, what is he doing about my case? Okay, so I'll try to ring key. I'm going to send him an email yet, soon, in a minute. But if I can get him on the phone, that would be better. I'm, I'm still trying. <clears throat> it's always frustrating with people you can't get. Hi um, Shannon, I'll give you a text, it's John Wanoa here, I just wanted an update of my case uh, and if um, um, Natalie Flower Dew Brown has been brought back here from Solomon Islands, I just want to, uh, we've uh, been talking with uh, my chiefs up in Waitangi and we want to resolve the matter as soon as possible, now that we've got Brexit and I'm in touch with them. To where our flag sits with Britain now as being more prominent in our legal cases and our lands. All right, I'm just dealing with one land now at the East Cape. I've got I've acquired one of our 30 blocks that I'm an owner in. I'm on that block now. Uh, so that's just another point of interest on land. Thank you very much. Give me a call or I'll send an email to you. Bye. Yeah, I just left a message. Always, I hate messages of someone I can't get a hold of. Got to find a good person when I get going that I can get just like that. It's really hard because he's tied up with everything else except what's important to this country that will save this country from being stolen by the elite people. And that's what I want to get at. The fraud that's still operating in the tax havens here. John Key's allowed that to happen and still getting away with it. No one's going to get away with this flag now that Britain's gone out of the EU Parliament where all the fraud is. So I keep accusing them online of fraud and corruption inside the EU Parliament and NATO and all this bombing and taking over other countries. It's not in our box. Not very good, but seeing people being killed, and children for that matter, John Key.
property, it's all your business. That's rife. And I want to get to the bottom of investigating all of you under this jurisdiction of authority from the Marae, Watangi Marae, up, in, up north. Okay, so those chiefs are waiting patiently for me to deal with this matter on Cook Street. I want to seize it now and hold them to account. Nobody's going to go into a tribunal to, to get a smack on the hand. No, they're going to get locked up. Everyone that's got in my road that hasn't proven to me to counterclaim what I'm saying or rebuke, refuted <coughs> any of the affidavits I've got against them are going to land up in court in front of the judge to say who's in, who, who did what. Right? I'm accusing you of fraud and that's that. Okay? In any of these videos I make, I'm making a strong point to the public and no one's answering. No one's bothering to answer to what I say. So you'll be forced into the British courts before long because that's our court with this flag, more so now that we're out of the EU Parliament and back in our own control in Westminster. Okay, All the fraud's going to get booted out of there, including the Upper House of Lords is just as thick in fraud in Westminster. That's going to all change soon. And they're all scrambling around now. And I can see what's happening. Well, Moai is not going to muck around. Moai is truth. If you can't hack the truth, you're out. If you can't answer me, John Key, or Jerry Mataparai, or Judas Collins, or Amy Adams, Chief Justice, uh, uh, Judith Collins, Minister of Police, if you can't answer me, then you lose. You'll get stripped of everything you own. That's what I'm saying. I've got the pound note. We've got the right to, you, to use it on you um, with this flag. That's what I'm saying. Um, so uh, I'll try one more time to get uh, Shannon. He should have been there now. It's after nine o'clock. Um, so, and that's how they operate here, by the way, um, for anybody watching these videos. I just can't get over that. Uh, please enter. No. Let me just try it again. One more time. Nope, that's it. Anyway, that will do for now. Um, so we'll catch you later. I just wanted to see if I can catch him on the phone before he goes to work or before he goes to court. Um, so it doesn't look like he's around. So we'll leave it at that. And um, I'll just carry on with uh, our work. Just send him email. But I want to pull this up now and get on with... Cook Street and arrest those landowners. You, to you, James Brown and Pierce Brown, James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. You, you know you're in trouble, but you're going to be in front.